choose a perk or a weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new Call of Duty Zombies challenge map where there are multiple doors and I have to either choose a perk on the right side here, I'm assuming, and then the weapon on the left side. So this is really cool, man. I've had a lot of cool challenge maps just like this in the in my own custom workshop that I haven't even shown you guys. And uh, one I've had is kind of similar to Last Man Standing where you load up into the map all four players have their own areas this is cool as well i got the shadows of evil hud some fists i'm playing as takyo with the premise outfit on let's go and um this new mode is basically like a dig up battle so you get a shovel and you have an area and it's kind of like a big cake that you have to uh, get to the top of like a big mountain like that over there and uh you dig up all these dig ups they can either give you good effects or bad effects and whoever gets to the top first wins. Uh, so it's kind of like a king of the hill type mode, but like with the dig ups. And I think that's just really cool. You know, I, I will definitely have to show you guys this once I have uh, like enough people to play it with. Again, it's like one of those four player modes. I'd probably just get the crew from Last Man Standing. You know, Tim Hansen, Crazy Rabbit, and Kajora. Uh, and so that would be really cool. Now let's open up this door. Yo, this is sick. They got the Mob of the Dead key. This is really cool. You know what? I'm going to buy a perk. Let's be different. QR. Okay, this is kind of going to be a great perk to get. This is going to help me stay in the ring here. Here's the big problem now, though. How much is the next door? Because this one I'm going to buy a weapon for. 1K. Okay. I'm going to buy a weapon here. We got a max ammo. Wow, that really, that really helped me out, bro. Okay, at least I got nades. That would have been nice to know. Oh my goodness, I can't see! Ah! This was a bad idea, I should have got a weapon first, bro. Oh no, man. Okay, um, okay, at least I can get, hopefully enough for a gun here. Let's get with the weapon. The Winchester! Yo, okay. Wow, so they got some, like, modern warfare weapons up in here. Okay, this is very unique, man. I like challenge maps like this, like I'm saying. And, um... I wanted to spend a lot of this video talking about a lot of the maps that I'm working on right now because, I mean, I'm playing as a the Great War character model right now. I know a lot of people are very concerned that they don't think Great War is going to be possible on BO3. And here's what I got to say to you, right? Is Custom Zombies ever going to release another game? Is it just always going to be Black Ops 3 from here on out, man? Are Noah J456 and I going to be doomed to play BO3 forever? This might be the case. I mean, when we're looking at what's being released with Modern Warfare 3 right now, it just doesn't seem like round base is even on the menu for Call of Duty at this point. And uh, it makes me nervous for sure because I, I said this before and people didn't believe me that round base might die. And uh, people are like, nah, even Kevin Drew, the man who's working on Modern Warfare 3 zombies right now, even told me that that's false. But, I mean, look at what's happening right now. The dude is working on a DMZ outbreak mode. And no round base to be found in all of Modern Warfare 3. So, you tell me what's going on with round base. Like, I, I knew as soon as free DLC was introduced into the Call of Duty Season Pass and Battle Pass. That zombies was just going to get shafted. And I was absolutely right. Like, they are practically doing whatever they can. Like, listen, I don't want to diss it. But I know, like, a lot of people are, like I said, are not just going to buy the game anymore just because of it. Even though, like, Modern Warfare 3 is doing really well towards a casual audience right now. A lot of uh, people are excited. I mean, I bought Modern Warfare 2 thinking that it was going to be what Modern Warfare 3 is, which is all the original MW2 maps in a game. And so, honestly, I don't know, man. I, I think for sure I'm just going to watch more gameplay of it than anything. I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be very popular in terms of the multiplayer community. I mean, multiplayer is so much fun on the OG MW2 map. So, I wouldn't even be surprised about that, to be quite honest. Oh, I'm about to die right here. Okay, this one chest is pretty sick. I'm going to pick up this death machine before we open up the next... Ah, you know, I'll open up the next door. I'm just going to get perks from here on out, though. This one chest is pretty much doing all the, all the work I need to. Um... But yeah, like, it's just interesting what's going on, considering that Vay Victus is coming out this month, Black Ops 3 version of Outbreak. Wow, this death machine's sick. It causes fire on the zombies. This is really cool. Um, 
you know, we are working on Die Rise Remaster, which started at the end, uh, the beginning of this year. And I can almost confidently say that we will not be releasing until 2024, unfortunately. I don't think we have enough time to put in all the side eggs and all of, like, the new different stuff that we have. Absolutely just cooking up for Die Rise's Remaster. Uh, but when it does come out, it will probably be early 2024 now. I can pretty much confidently say that. And um, it's going to be exciting. And also... After the Die Rise remaster, we got a Transit remaster coming out right after. And so Virko's Transit is going to be much more of a reimagining. Whereas our version is going to be a straight up one-to-one -one remaster with just a couple of additions. So like, maybe like the cut assets, like a jet gun upgrade. Or even like the day and night cycle potentially that was originally going to be in the, in the first map. So it's just interesting. I didn't even open up this one. Okay, give me the perk. What I get? PH PhD? I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think I need PhD, but um, maybe I'll grab it, you know, maybe maybe it could be more useful than I'm thinking of. Um, and also, I know I made a video on my second channel long ago talking about my dad and my parents, and uh, I actually went to go see my dad uh, over the last couple of days, and uh, I reconciled with him, everything's all good with that, I just want to make that public, uh, just so you guys know that, you know, Forgiveness is everything, you know, letting people have peace in their lives should be the way that everybody aspires to be rather than to hold on to hatred and to be as chaotic as physically possible. You know, I really believe there's something extremely important about letting things go and living life as it's intended to be without any worries and free of any burdens. You know, I think that's that's the way life is all about. 1500 for PhD. Hit me up with the next perk. What's it gonna be? Stamina up. Listen, I'm even gonna complain, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept this gratefully. This is like the speedrunner's best perk of all time right now. Okay, death machine here does have a little bit of an animation to kick out though, so I gotta be extremely wary. But bro, I got some pretty good perks. Not gonna lie. Quicker by PhD stamina up. I mean, this ain't bad at all, man. This is not bad whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, after transits remaster. The last map I can really guarantee you guys that we're going to be working on is the Mob of the Dead Remaster. And I know Mob of the Dead Remaster is already on the workshop, but a lot of people complain about that version. And I know people want to see like Zella's uh, handmade way of that map. And that is just going to be so exciting. But the reason why I say that's the last map I can really guarantee you guys is because of the fact that I just genuinely believe that COD 2024 is going to dictate a lot in my opinion. Of what's gonna happen in terms of what I believe uh, the future of zombies is gonna be because I mean round base has not happened since 2020 I don't consider Vanguard round base because it didn't really launch as round base so it's coming up on almost five years for when COD 2024 releases and honestly like it's kind of insane to say but there's actually a chance that that game might not even release a round base map on launch right so it's just it's a very interesting time we live in, especially to be a Treyarch Zombies fan. And I think, like I said, Customs is definitely going to be huge this coming up year. And I'm extremely excited to see all of the new maps like Vevictus, Buried Remastered, Transit Remastered, Virkles Transit, our Die Rise. Uh, it's just going to be so much fun to be a part of the community during this. Uh, but I think if you're looking for traditional round base and you don't own a, you don't own a PC and you only play consoles... I don't even know how you're 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 in here, my guy. This is it, it must be a rough struggle to be doing what you're doing right now. Okay, 3k on these doors. I need jug. Yeah, I'm doing perk. Mule kick! I'm not even gonna buy this. I have one weapon. Okay, I'm going for the next one. This one I'm going for the weapon on. Hopefully, this is not the one I make the mistake. Watch this one be jug as well. MP5. Okay, they dropped the death machine also. They're like, bro, you about to die. I know, bro. I know. <laughs> Give me that death machine immediately, my guy. Okay, good thing that this has got me absolutely covered. Yeah, the drops I'm absolutely getting a ton of help with. Um, but yeah, like I said, Mob the Dead Remastered will be the last guaranteed map. But if COD 2024 does well... Then we have Atlantis, which could have been Chaos DLC 3, the map after Ancient Evil, which is going to be extremely exciting. And then the next one is going to be the Great War. And so honestly, the timeline of this 
considering that die rise is releasing for 2024 i can also safely assure you guys that transit remaster will also probably release before cod 2024 in 2024 because what's taking so long like i said is a lot of the weapon ports we have to port all the bl2 weapons in 4k and transit we won't need to do that because all practically most of the weapons in die rise are from are in also transit as well so that's going to be the easy part it's really just going to be mapping and honestly zella can grab a lot of the mapping uh templates from like what Virko has done uh from bl2 that will be pretty quick um, especially considering transit is just a lot of fog i know a lot of people have added suggestions on my transit no fog video about all of the different stuff that we can do for that map and i wanted to talk about also that also today like i said i think we want to add a jet gun upgrade but still also keep the jet gun kaka when you first build it so i mean if you want to play the original version of transit you still can uh, but we'll still add a different variation of the jet gun to just make it a little bit more better for players um we definitely also want to add sliding for transit on bl3 that's going to be insane we do think though that you can't slide over the lava we're going to make it so that whatever you do it just makes you automatically stand up uh, because i mean that would just be way too unfair another big change also though that we are thinking of adding is that the turbine buildable will be its own separate slot so what i mean by that is on solo on transit there's never a point to build the electric trap or the turret and we're going to be buffing those buildables right they're so bad on solo you need the turbine for them so we've just decided to make the turbine something you can always hold alongside one other buildable being the shield the electric trap the turret or the jet gun itself so we want to make the turbine much more of a external buildable that you can always carry so you can activate the turret right so you can use the electric trap so you don't have to run all the way back constantly and just get it over and over for no reason you know i honestly just hate that aspect oh my goodness they going crazy up in here get me out the winchester this winchester is still doing work man oh oh there we go i knew i was about to down i knew i was about to down i'm using this mustang and sally death and taxes up in here bro oh no get me up immediately bro i need a better weapon oh my gosh i'm buying qr next one we're hitting for the weapons here i might actually have to buy mule kick <laughs> i can't believe i'm doing this ak here we go okay winchester it's been a pleasure it has been a pleasure winchester but you know what okay i will buy mule kick now double points is kind of huge too it is nice that they give you like a whole hallway on this mode this is really cool i also like the the perk icons as well and so transit so far like i said we're gonna keep pretty much the exact same we're probably gonna add little like side easter eggs that you can do oh my gosh wow i died for the double points please tell me i make this man dude this is crazy i died for nothing the double points literally disappeared oh this is criminal Oh, and the zombies are hiding back here. Brother, I need to get to pop immediately. I'm throwing nades. That's how desperate I am right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, bro. Those nades actually saved my life. Is that a death machine? Low key, I'm going to pick that up as soon as next round starts. Oh, my gosh. Stamina up QR. Give it to me now. Oh, my gosh. Don't go away. <laughs> bro this is crazy i don't think there's a limit also to how many qrs you can get in this so that's kind of the nicest part about this challenge i mean if i didn't get qr I'd be bullied at this point bro also it's nice i think that all the zombie spawns are in this original room um but also in transit things that we're making to make the map a lot less annoying is we are keeping the fog in but we're making the fog a lot more visible and probably more low to the ground things like that to fit the ambience of transit without making it completely an annoyance um which i think is going to be really exciting and i think a lot of people are really going to like that i think that's what like makes these maps really fun at this point bro i have to aim for the head or these guys just literally don't die right now man i honestly i might have to go grab dead shot i can't believe i'm saying this i'm about to actually unironically buy dead shot I actually unironically need to buy Mule Kick at this point because uh, your boy is out. 
out of that ammunition. Oh my goodness. And also another thing we're making to add the map like a little bit less annoying is to turn down the denizens. And so, like I said, we want to make the map more exciting, more like similar to the remaster where you can play it and enjoy it. Uh, but we also, and, and like make it so that people can speed run it. Uh, but we also want to make it sure, make sure that people are not bored out of their absolute skulls. Uh, I didn't even get that shot. What am I saying, bro? Um, I got PhD. I thought, why did I, why did I think I got dead shot for a sec, bro? I have no clue. I am absolutely on one right now. Uh, we got double points here with the nuke. This is sick. Yeah, this next door is expensive. 6250. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna need to utilize this double points real good. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, no, thank goodness I got all my perks now. The PhD flopper is going to be nice with the grenades too. I can just chuck these out with really, without really having to worry. And yeah, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to buy that door immediately. Whatever the, I'm going for gun next, next uh, door here. I, I, I feel like I opened all the worst perk spots. I feel like the perk spots that I didn't open here are probably like Jug and Speed Cola, which is like infinitely better than everything else i've opened up at this point oh my gosh and there goes all my points yet again oh my gosh this is bad maybe i can get enough to open up the third gun here and maybe just get rid of mp5 because i your boy is struggling i just wasted so many points right there oh my gosh i mean the mp5 is somehow doing better than the ak somebody's got to explain that to me okay let's leave one let's see what the weapon is here that was an expensive key. How much is this next one? 75 hundo. P90. Okay, low key. I don't even have enough for this. 1250. I'm going to buy this. I don't even have enough for quicker vibe anymore, I don't think. It's 1000, bro. I'm poor. Oh, no. I'm throwing nades. What is that noise? There better not be a boss. Is it? Why do I feel like there's a boss? Why do I feel like there's a boss? What What was that noise? Oh, it's a perk bottle. No. Oh, insta-kill saving me. Please be Jug or Speed Cola. Not something I already have. It's dead shot. No. <laughs> I mean, it, I was right. It gave me something I didn't have, but... Oh, that's just criminal video game. This is my luck, boys. <laughs> this is my luck. Bro, I found three times. This is... Woo. Man, I've, uh, I've lost my touch for sure here. Uh, but no, this death machine's coming in clutch right now. I feel like this death machine's going to start sucking soon. I mean, we're on round 16 right now. Um, I'm going to need I'm gonna need double tap pretty soon. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Give me the P90. I'm sorry. I just... Can I buy anything as long with the P90? Nah, nah. Okay, I can get stamina up. I'll get stamina. I don't think this map has a perk limit either. Pro 90, be my savior. How much ammo does it have? 50 in the clip. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. How good is it on the zombie? Oh, this is the weapon. Honestly, maybe Deadshot wasn't even that bad. The auto aim in the head on PC definitely exists, my guy. Okay, nice. Um, we don't need stamina up. Ah, do we get mule kick? <laughs> the eternal question. <laughs> Do we get me okay? I'll get PhD. Even though it's it's literally pointless for me at this point. Man, if only I got an M1911. Why do I feel like I missed an M1911 on this map too? I probably I probably bought literally the worst outcomes for this. I feel like that that <laughs> that sounds like my type of luck at this point. Uh okay, here we go. Insta kill here. Let's actually just knife as much as we can. Yeah, because the knife is pretty fast here. We are going to make bank from this. This is how we get to the next. Oh, the double points as well. Okay, now nah, this is worth it. Double points since the... Oh, boys. Here we go. There we go. Those are the points I've been needing. Still, we're missing out on some. I mean, honestly, if I didn't get those extra drops at this point, I'd probably be full dead. 7,500. Okay, and there's Pap. I'm assuming this next one's 8K. Or 9k, and the last one's easily 10k. Um, but we're going to make this, man. We're going to make this challenge. This is a fun challenge. 
Okay, double points is going away. I gotta maximize the absolute heck out of this. Give me that max ammo immediately, bro. Okay, we're 10 points shy. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. You know what? I'm gonna go through this round. I'm gonna get Mule Kick and hit another gun. I know I have literally the worst perks possible here, but like, it is what it is, man. I've accepted, I've accepted my fate at this point. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I'm literally having to hoard in these little crevices here. <laughs> we have to get the perks of the guns, man. But the P90 came through. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We open up the door. I am going to grab Mule Kick here. Ooh. You know what? I'm not going to grab that just yet. The P90 is honestly doing so much good work right now. Maybe this is the challenge. No Jug. No Speed Cola. Mule kick, stamina up, PhD, dead shot, and quick revive. That's the life right there. I'm going for another weapon, man. Honestly, we do be needing it. The boss 14. Now, I have no idea what this weapon is, low key. This looks like a freaking advanced warfare weapon. We got some new drop. Can you see it from this guy? Oh, you can. That's sick. What is that? Is that a ray gun? Okay, I need that. Yeah, this boss 14. I'm not going to lie, y'all. This thing is kind of caca. I'm going for it. Oh my, don't you dare down. We have PhD here too. No, it's blinking. It's blinking. Please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, if I didn't get that, it would be all over. I need PhD. I can't believe it. We went from not needing it to needing it more than ever. Oh my goodness. I got rid of the AK. Okay, here's the death machine too. Honestly, just grab it. This is going to give us a ton of points here. Bro, I'm getting fully saved by these drops right now. <laughs> there is literally nothing else that is saving me right now. Okay, QR. We're going to grab it. Insta-kill will come back for it. There's my boy PhD. Bro, we lost Deadshot. All my homies are crying right now. <laughs> Well, okay, we have the ray gun now. I think the next one I buy here is, um, is perk. I mean, look how many perks we missed. One, two, three, four. We could, we gonna make it five? No way, man. No way, no way. Okay, we're insta killing here. Uh, but yeah, going back to transit though. Like I said, we don't want to add too much to the map, which is why I, th I think that, like, that map is going to be able to come out quickly. And also, Mob of the Dead, after transit, will be able to come out quickly. It's mainly going to be the maps like Atlantis and the Great War. I genuinely believe we won't get those maps out to, like, late 2025, 2026, even if I plan on making them. Uh, because, like, we're going to have to do everything for those maps. We're going to have to port in, like, the Chaos characters for the Atlantis map. We're going to have to do all sorts of different stuff. Make a whole new timeline. Make a story. I mean, that's going to be a lot. Like, we're doing the same on Die Rise. Uh, but for Transit as well, like I said, that's going to be much more easy. Because we're just trying to cater that towards uh, players who want to just enjoy the gameplay aspects. Widow's Wine. You know what? I'm going to take it, but I can't even buy it. It's 2500 somehow. Okay, we're buying it. 10k. How am I a genius? I don't know, but you know what? I kind of like it. PhD and Widow's Wine still is OP enough to the point where I still am going to be able to survive with just this ray gun here. This ray gun saved my life. I'm telling you, the <laughs> I'm nothing without these drops. I'll admit it. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'll put my whole foot down and say it. Oh, I should have grabbed that Widow's too bad. Nah, man. It, too bad I didn't get Speed Cola either. It would also be cool maybe if like you open up the last door. I don't know if this happens, but if you open up the last door and it opens up all of the doors, that would be really cool too. Okay, yeah, the death machines as well are just saving my life. And then they always give me an instant kill after. What is going on here? Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you have another custom map for me to play like this, that's like more of a, um, more of what they call like a challenge map, I would absolutely be down. I love challenge maps like this. So you really can't open up these other ones, eh? No, you can't. Okay. And yeah, I, let me know also if you guys would like me to play the King of the Hill mode that I was telling you about right at the beginning. I don't really know. I guess I'll call it King of the Hill. 
Uh, but it's not really like that. Another perk, please be something good. Jug, oh my gosh. <laughs> we didn't get this till 25 minutes in here, bro. <laughs> oh man, wow, that's uh, well-timed in my opinion. Well-timed, well-timed. Okay, so we're taking these boys out with the insta-kill. Let's open up the last door here. Does this open up the rest of them? It doesn't look like it. We do have Pap, though. I want to see what Pap looks like. I'm going to Pap the P90. P90 also just saved me. This thing has a ton of ammo. What is that? Just a little flower there? Oh, this is a soul box. Okay, we can fill this up. Never mind. Let's fill this up, then. Um, that's a little plant. Now it's growing bigger. Why they got to make it look like that, bro? Why they got to make it look like that? What is that? Is this a viable ending? Honestly, I have no clue what this is, but... Seriously, I, I love challenge maps because, like I said, they're challenged. They they make you really play in a different way. Oh, bro, I'm about to run out of ammo. Maybe I pop the ray gun first here. Ah, uh, you know what? It's going to be the ray gun first. This is uh, just how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. This is the only way I make this. Let's just do it. Put it in the pop. we got the Origins pop here looking lovely. Is it the giant camo? It is. Oh, no. This is the, um, what is this, like the Regal camo in, um, in Black Ops 3. This is honestly one of my favorite camos in all BO3. This is such a sick camo. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do have any suggestions for any of the maps I'm remastering, whether it's Die Rise, Transit, Mob of the Dead, heck, even the Atlantis and the Great War maps, let me know. Bro, I literally watched the Milo's Journey into the Atlantis City of the Lost Empire Disney movie just for the map that we're remaking and uh to be honest that to me just kind of makes me laugh uh just because like it's just i, I really want to make these maps something special for you guys considering that activision just doesn't really care about the zombies community and uh it's just kind of sad to think that we might not ever get another custom zombies mode like it might not ever be possible to even have custom zombies on console which has always been like a dream of mine to have for sure you know like it's just it is what it is though man you can't you can't change everything but ooh, double points i'm gonna grab that uh but at least it would have been nice to have as well and uh yeah also in the comment section let me know if you guys are getting mono warfare 3. i know a lot of my twitch streamers uh, or twitch streamers my twitch viewers and whatnot aren't necessarily deciding on getting it uh oh we got some sort of red beacon here what is this press and hold f to end the game yo that is sick let's pop the pro 90 here and then we'll end the game uh but yeah just let me know if you're getting the game and let me the micro lmg why is that such a great name and it looks amazing too but ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be it we beat the challenge map is it gonna end whoa What's going on? Oh, we just called the freaking nuke on this place. Oh my gosh, look at the screen. Wow, that was amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. Let me know what you guys would like me to post next and talk about next as well. This is an absolute pleasure. I'll leave the link in the map in the description. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.